brought to you by GTA. We start with you. It was David Lubosky who raised the spotlight on the mandatory arbitration law. He sued a local clinic for the death of his child and also challenged the law, which requires that plaintiffs first file for expensive arbitration. In the hearing last night, he reminded that it was almost a year ago that his son Asher died. He was taught the difference between right and wrong and to be responsible. Sadly and obviously, his doctors, maybe including some in attendance today, were not. Get rid of bad doctors. Do not bring more to Guam. Improve medical care on Guam. Save lives. Repeal the malpractice arbitration law. It will save lives and it will improve medical care on the island. It's a guarantee. But doctors testify that abolishing the mandatory arbitration will discourage many from practicing here and will lead to higher costs as physicians resort to more defensive practice out of fear of being sued. Dr. Nathaniel Berg says just when the medical community has made great strides in the past 25 years. We have good quality health care, perfect, no. But for an isolated island community, yes. We have incredibly good health care here. And I like to think that that is because this health care community wants it that way. We want better health care for you, for you, for all of us, for my kids, right? So we have self-governed ourselves and the Guam Board of Medical Examiners, which has been accused of being extraordinarily unethical, is not such a body. Dr. Amanda Del Rosario says she understands when someone unexpectedly loses a loved one. In my state of immense grief, I wanted to find someone to blame. My father's doctors couldn't save him, but it was not their fault. He died at GMH, and it was no one's fault. Although it's the bad outcomes that tend to be highlighted in the news and talked about the most, they're actually few and far between. But attorney Robert Keough says it's for those few and far between bad outcomes that the mandatory arbitration needs to be removed because the costs discourage people from seeking to become whole. I can't imagine that it happens from these passionate doctors who have testified here today, but it does happen. And when it does happen, that burden should not be borne by the individual who is injured by that outcome. It should be borne by the society as a whole. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.